I've always been your biggest supporter, mm -hmm. and you know how much I love you. I I've done everything. And you've started self-medicating at times yourself, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Absolutely. In a dangerous way. Yes. Alex's drug problem and her neglect has taken a huge toll on my mom. My mom has completely lost herself. She's heartbroken. Alex doesn't even recognize what she's doing to her. Unfortunately, my mom coped with alcohol. Eight months ago, I found my mom in our driveway. I had to pull her out of the car. She stopped breathing. She had flatlined. I had to give my mom CPR. I had to put my lips on her blue cold lips. I had to keep her tongue from crawling into the back of her throat. And I had to also do this while my younger sister, Victoria, was freaking out. Paramedics came. They were able to bring her back with a defibrillator. That was single-handedly the worst day of my life. I'll never be able to forget it. I've had severe PTSD ever since. Every night I go to bed and I have dreams which reenact my mom dying. I see my mom sleeping and sometimes I get a full-blown panic attack because I just feel like she's dead. All of this comes down to the fact that my mom has to be a mom again at 52. My biggest fear is that if my sister doesn't get it together, mom will die from this. What I'm trying to get everybody here to understand, how old are you now? I'm 26. You're 26 years old. And if, if you think about your life and you, you start here and you, you come out here and you know, if the average life expectancy is around 80, so we come back here and so this is about 40, you know, you're somewhere about here. You've got all of this life still ahead of you. All of that is still ahead of you. So you can, you can think about, okay, you're 26 right here, and you can think about, boy, this is a bad situation right here. You've got all of this ahead of you. That's a lot of life, right? You've got like 54 years or more ahead of you that is worth getting this fixed right now, getting this family fixed, getting you fixed. What you want to fix, you want to fix your family. You want to fix this situation with drugs. You want to fix the situation with your psychological profile. You want to fix all of this now because you got your whole life stretched ahead of you. And you, know, you sit there and say, I'm mad at myself because I came here today. This should be the best day of your life. You're here with three people that love you and care about you, and they're here because they want you back. They hate your behavior. They love you, and you agree with them. You hate your behavior.